To apply the kiosk configuration on this Windows device, I will go to the settings app to join this device to enter ID. Under the settings app, we'll go to the accounts and access work or school accounts. Where I will add a work or school account, we'll click on connect. Below, we have the options to join the device to Microsoft Enter ID and ADDS. I'll go with Enter ID. We'll provide the work or school account and uh, provide the credentials for this account. And finally, join this device to Entra ID so that it is enrolled into Intune and I can create the kiosk configuration profile and apply on this device. We'll click on join after validating the tenant information that I'm joining to the correct tenant. Well, the device is joined to enter ID. I can click on done and then we'll go to the info and synchronize for any security policies or the configurations to be applied on this device. To configure the kiosk profile in Intune, I will switch to the Intune portal and will do the configuration in uh, Intune portal for the kiosk configuration. Here I log into a server machine where I have this Intune portal opened. I'm creating a device group. First of all, we'll go to the all groups, create a new group for the kiosks devices. This is a security group. We'll provide it a friendly name, Contoso Kiosk Devices, a group description. We'll go with membership, membership type as assigned and uh, we'll assign the device manually to this group. We'll click on this no members selected hyperlink and we'll search for Seattle devices and uh, in this case, I will use the Seattle Workstation 2 as the kiosk device and we'll click on create. This is the device group having the device which I want to use as a kiosk. Now I will go to the devices blade and the configurations blade under manage devices to create a configuration profile. In previous video, we have seen the Contoso developer standard configuration profile for Windows machines for device restrictions. This time, the platform is again Windows 10 and later. Profile type will be from the template. And here from I will select the template for the kiosk. It has many predefined settings. Rest of the configuration I can define during this creation of the kiosk configuration profile. This is Contoso kiosk policy that I want to enforce the policies on these kiosk devices. Basic settings for Contoso kiosk devices. We'll select the kiosk mode. We'll go with single app full screen kiosk or multi app. User logon type. I will go with automatic logon over here. There I will click on this drop down button. Currently it is set to not configured. This is user logon type and click on the drop down to set the logon type as auto logon to this device. 
we can either go with local user account or enter id also depending on our requirement application type which type of applications i want to use i will be using the browser edge browser on this kiosk device the kiosk url the default edge url will be let's say bing as the default search engine i'll be using in this we'll define the public edge kiosk mode type in private window and refresh the browser after idle time which will be five minutes and uh, specify maintenance window for apps in case i need to configure i can define it in this case i will ignore this setting and will finish creating this configuration profile after assigning it to the kiosk devices device group under the assignments there will be included groups that i will add as kiosk group that was created here we go click select next and i don't want to configure any excluded groups or application applicability rules right now and will finally create this kiosk profile here we go click create now that the profile has been defined for that client machine seattle workstation 2 it is time to test this i will switch to the seattle workstation 2 and will log in with the local admin account On Seattle Workstation 2, I will sync the configuration. On Seattle Workstation 2, I'll go to the settings app. where I will go to the accounts on the left and access work or school to sync the configuration. I will go to info under the tenant and will hit this sync button. This will take few minutes to apply the configuration of the kiosk profile that has been applied to the device group which includes this device. This will take some time. So I will pause the video and resume once this configuration is applied. Well, the configuration has been applied and I restarted this machine. I log in with this kiosk account, which is part of the kiosk profile template that was selected and I can see the edge browser with Bing on it. This is how we configure the kiosk devices using Intune. I hope this was informative to you. Thanks for watching.